Urgent Chelsea fan look what just happened. Nobody was waiting for this, huh? Before, subscribe to the channel, because here there are videos every day with the latest news from Chelsea and T.O. Don't miss any of it, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Chelsea have been told that £60 million will be enough to sign Ivan Tony this summer. The club actually has a striker with the ability to score 20, 30, or even 40 goals a season and there is a lot of speculation that the Blues are keen to add another striker to the squad in the summer. And this has led to some reports in the media that we will be interested in a £50 million move to try and sign Ivan Tony from Brentford, who is considered one of the best strikers in the Premier League. The new fee, however, still represents a significant outlay, with it reported that £60 million will be needed to convince Brentford to sell. Tony will have another chance to put himself in the shop window after being selected in England manager Gareth Southgate's 26-man squad for Euro 2024. Amid all the speculation and rumours, Teddy Sheringham recently backed the club to secure a transfer deal for the powerhouse, offering his opinion on why Tony would be a smart signing for Chelsea, Sheringham told Hentain Casino, I think Ivan Tony would be a fantastic signing for Chelsea. He is a fantastic player who would add value to the current team. I don't know what happened to his form, but I think a player of his stature can give a lot to a football team, he's a leader who knows his position and is at the peak of his career. I think he would be a great asset. Chelsea hesitant to negotiate £40 million deal for Aston Villa striker Johan Duran. Chelsea are unsure whether to go ahead with Johan Duran's transfer despite having been given permission to discuss personal terms with the Aston Villa striker. Villa are ready to offload the pound 40m, rated Colombian. It is believed some at Villa have raised concerns about his attitude and Chelsea are carrying out background checks. Your salary demands are another potential obstacle. Chelsea has been trying to reduce its wage bill and has adopted a policy of distributing long, heavily incentivized contracts. They have been tracking the 20-year-old for some time and there is still a good chance the deal will go through. This would be welcome for Villa as they look to raise funds to increase their profitability and sustainability position before moving forward with hiring. Villa are in talks with Chelsea over a deal for Conor Gallagher and have also registered an interest in Dutch left-back Ian Matson, who has a £35 million release clause. Matson, who is a Chelsea player, spent the second half of last season on loan at Borussia Dortmund and is for sale. Rival clubs believe PSR considerations have left Chelsea under pressure to sell players before the June 30 accounting deadline. This was denied at Stamford Bridge. However, they are interested in transferring players and are looking for buyers for Armando Broja, Trevo Chalaba and Matson but are determined to fend off Bayern Munich's interest in Levi Colwell. Signing a striker is a priority for Chelsea, who want to compete with Nicholas Jackson, and are also competing to sign Crystal Palace's Michael Aulis. The Palace winger's contract contains a release clause worth around £60 million. Chelsea contacted Palace this week to find out more about the clause, but doubts were raised over whether Aulis would be in favour of a move there when there is also interest from Arsenal. Bayern, Newcastle and both Manchester clubs. Chelsea are not giving up, their scouting department is said to love the 22-year-old, although Aulis' signing could raise doubts over Noni Maduk's future. There have been suggestions that Maduk could be offered to Palace as part of a deal. Meanwhile, Adam Lallana returned to Southampton from Brighton on a one-year contract following the club's promotion to the Premier League. Lallana played more than 250 games for Southampton between 2006 and 2014 and captained the club before moving to Liverpool in 2014. I'm extremely happy to be returning to where it all began, said the 36-year-old former England international. Although it seems like a fairy tale, in my mind there is still work to do and I am very confident that I still have a lot to give to this football club. When I started talking to Russell, Martin, the manager, and realized there was a bit of interest, it was something that I knew straight away that felt right in my head and in my heart that it was something I needed to pursue, and it came together in the end. Pause this news, just T.O. say that if you want YouTube T.O. continue recommending the latest Chelsea news for you, then it is very important that you already leave a like on this video. It cost.
let's continue with the news. Chelsea are unsure whether to sign Aston Villa striker Johan Duran despite having been given permission to discuss personal terms with the 20-year-old. Unai Emery's side are willing to sell Duran on a permanent deal this summer and have set their asking price at €47.4 million, Euros, £40 million. Pounds. Chelsea are long-time admirers of the Colombian and were heavily linked with a move during the January transfer window. They were unable to reach an agreement with Villa, but the Blues have reignited their interest. Chelsea are now unsure whether to push to sign Duran this summer. Enzo Maresca's side are still interested in signing Duran, although it remains to be seen whether they are willing to pay Villa's asking price for a player with just three Premier League appearances. In other news, Aston Villa are interested in Blues duo Ian Matson and Connor Gallagher, although the latter is unlikely to be involved in any deal that could see Duran move to Stamford Bridge. Gallagher is currently on international duty with England at Euro 2024 and reports suggest he wants to remain at Chelsea despite strong links to a summer exit. Crystal Palace winger Michael Aulis appears to be Chelsea's priority target in the summer, and the Blues have contacted Oliver Glasner's team about a possible move for the Frenchman. However, The Guardian reported that there are doubts over whether Aulis would choose to join Chelsea amid interest from the likes of Arsenal, Bayern Munich, Manchester United and Manchester City. The France under-21 international scored 10 goals and provided 6 assists in 19 Premier League appearances during the 2023-24 campaign, and his current contract at Selhurst Park runs until 2027 after he signed a new deal last summer. And now Chelsea fan I want to hear from you. What is your opinion about this? Put your opinion in the comments, I don't know if you know, but your opinion is very important for Chelsea at any moment I'll be back with more news from Chelsea.